Hey guys, what's up? Today I will show you 5 laptops for music production in 2020. Today when you come to buy a product, take a smart lookout for this. You can think of many different ones such as price, quality, durability, performance, battery life and much more. Through an extensive research and testing, I have put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. You will find a link in the description down below. You can collect a lot of information about the product by clicking there. Hey, let's start the video without wasting any time. If you want to see more products, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. At number 5 is the Surface Pro 6. If you want the best laptop for music production that can also moonlight as a Windows tablet to do some light gaming or movie watching in your downtime, the Surface Pro 6 might just be the ideal laptop for you. Design-wise, like all of Microsoft's 2-in-1 range laptop-tablet hybrids, the Surface Pro 6 comprises a Windows 10 tablet with a kickstand and a 6-pin port, which lets you attach a type cover keyboard dock. You get three primary modes tablet, laptop, and studio with the kickstand extended 165 degrees. The Surface Pro 6 weighs just 1.7 pounds as a tablet and is still very light 2.4 pounds with the keyboard attached. Moreover, there's a single USB-A 3.0 port, a mini display port port, and a micro SD card reader, along with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and power supply connection. In addition, as a neat touch, the main adapter you get in the box features a USB-A port that you can use to charge phones or other devices, leaving the USB port of the Surface Pro 6 itself free for other things. On to performance, the Surface Pro 6 we reviewed comes with Intel's Core i5 processor and 8GB of RAM. It also comes with 256GB of storage and features the black finish instead of the platinum alternative. If you plan to do more serious or professional music production work on the Surface Pro 6, perhaps you should consider 16GB of memory or the Core i7 model. Moving on, the 12.3-inch Pixel Sense display on the Surface Pro 6 is one of the better ones you'll find on a 2-in-1. This panel is not just sharp at 2736 by 1824 pixels, it's also remarkably bright and colorful. Aside from that, you'll find a computer that delivers fast Wi-Fi connectivity and solid Bluetooth performance. The computer's solid-state storage was fast and helped quickly access any files. Plus, easily, the best thing about the Surface Pro 6 is its improved endurance. The battery lasted a strong 9 hours and 20 minutes. To conclude, the Surface Pro 6 is a combination of impressive specs, a great design, and a reasonable price for the power makes it a good choice for anyone seeking a new computer to boost their productivity and comes highly recommended. At number 4 is the Dell XPS 15 9570. The XPS 15 from Dell packs everything you need for a powerful 15-inch laptop, including new options for an OLED 4K panel and Intel Core i7 processor. If you want the latest and greatest from Dell, this is the laptop for you. Let's take a look. Design-wise, starting with the XPS 15's super-thin Infinity Edge bezels around the 15.6-inch screen, the lid and bottom are aluminum, and the keyboard deck is wrapped in a slightly rubberized carbon fiber material. The body itself is 9.3 inches deep, 14 inches wide, and from 0.45 to 0.066 inches tall, and can weigh up to 4.5 pounds depending on the model. We like the fingerprint reader, which is integrated into the power button. Furthermore, despite a slender frame, the XPS 15 offers two USB 3.1 ports, one on either side of the chassis, USB-C, HDMI 2.0, Thunderbolt 3, and an SD card slots, not to mention the 3.5mm jack. On to performance, this machine is an absolute powerhouse, built with a 2.2GHz Intel Core i7-8750H processor with six cores in the configuration we reviewed. The device hardly broke a sweat, supporting more than 20 Chrome tabs, several productivity apps, and Spotify open while streaming a 4K video at 60 frames per second in the background. One of the most impressive features of the Dell XPS 15 is its huge 15.6-inch touchscreen. It's available in both 1080p and 4K UHD varieties. 
Overlaid on top of the entire screen area is a piece of glossy Corning Gorilla Glass, providing a luxurious contrast to the soft carbon fiber palm rest. In addition, Dell's solid 81-key backlit keyboard is a pleasure to use. The chiclet-style keys are well-sized and well-spaced, while keystrokes are fairly deep and induce a strong sense of feedback. Security features, meanwhile, include a power button conveniently doubling as a fingerprint reader and a noble lock slot for that added layer of protection. To conclude, the Dell XPS 15 has proven itself an incredibly powerful machine that exceeds the standards of its Windows rivals in terms of both design and performance and will pack all you need for music production. At number 3 is the HP Spectre X360. Beautifully designed and with practically no missteps, the HP Spectre X360 15 has a great keyboard and trackpad, 4K display, above-average sound system with solid battery life and decent performance for the money. Design-wise, the HP Spectre X360 15's sleek aluminum chassis feels sturdy and well-built, complete with chiseled edges in black and solid, copper-tinged hinges. This being a convertible-style laptop, the Spectre's 15-inch Corning Glass Protected Display swivels a full 360 degrees, allowing you to tilt the screen back and sit it keyboard down in kiosk mode, tent it in a V-shape, or flip the display all the way back for tablet use. In addition, the Spectre X360's Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C and HDMI ports sit on its right side, and a fast-charging USB 3.1 port is on the left next to the headphone jack and near the SD memory reader. On to performance, the Spectre X360 comes with an Intel Core i7-8750H processor, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Max-Q GPU, with 4GB of VRAM, 16GB of RAM, and 1TB SSD, depending on which model you choose. Furthermore, the HP Spectre X360 15's big, relatively bright 4K display marks one of the laptop's high points. Measuring 319 nits, the Spectre screen looks sharp and vivid, well above the minimum standard for comfortable indoor reading. Moving on, the keyboard feels agreeably snappy and clicky, with impressive travel on the flat chiclet-style keys and plenty of room, making for easy discovery. That's no small feat, given that this latest version of the Spectre X360 15 squeezes in a 10-key numeric keypad. Additionally, for a laptop with a 4K display and a discrete graphics unit, the Spectre X360 has stellar battery life. After continuously surfing the web over Wi-Fi at 150 nits of brightness, the Spectre X360 lasted 8 hours and 9 minutes, which is impressive. Overall, aimed squarely at users who need creative horsepower on the road, the HP Spectre X360 15 gets a welcome 8th generation performance bump, a 4K display a roomy keyboard, and an impressive battery life. All in a sturdy, if somewhat hefty and pricey package. It's well worth checking out. At number two is the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is Apple's best ultra-portable laptop thanks to its stylish looks, an excellent touchpad, and long battery life. Let's take a look. Design-wise, there's something to be said for a design that works, even if it's not innovative and the MacBook Pro remains the most luxurious laptop around. Weighing 3.02 pounds and measuring 11.97 by 8.36 by 0.59 inches, the MacBook Pro is portable enough to slip in a backpack without it weighing you down. As for ports, there are two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports with support for charging, DisplayPort, Thunderbolt up to 40 gigabit per second, and USB 3.1 Gen 2 up to 10 gigabit per second. On to performance, the base configuration of the Mac Pro 13 comes with an 8th Gen Core i5 quad-core processor, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage. Additionally, the Core i5 processor can also easily edit photos in Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. And if you need to do video editing or music production, it can power through that too. The MacBook Pro gives you noticeably more headroom for this kind of multitasking work. The trackpad is enormous, silky smooth, and extremely responsive to multi-finger swipes and gestures. The MacBook Pro's Retina display uses LED backlighting to achieve a very bright maximum of 500 nits of luminance, and its 16 to 9 aspect ratio results in a not-quite-4K native resolution of 2560 by 1660 pixels. Furthermore, Touch ID makes it easy to unlock your Mac with a single press, so you don't have to rely on a password. Plus, you can use it for the App Store, iTunes, Apple Pay, and in the Safari and Chrome browsers. 
Finally, while Apple claims this latest MacBook Pro can get up to 10 hours of battery life between charges, our experience with it has been closer to 6.5 to 7 hours, which is worth bearing in mind for longer sessions. To conclude, if you're looking to buy a new MacBook for producing music, this MacBook Pro 13 would be an ideal choice. At number 1 is the Huawei MateBook X Pro. It would be fair to say that the MateBook X Pro has more than a passing resemblance to Apple's top-end laptop. It's not that it's a carbon copy, more a machine that takes just the good bits. Let's check it out. Design-wise, with the lid closed, it looks like a fairly generic thin and light aluminum laptop with a gentle taper and a Huawei logo on the top, available in space gray and silver. Open it and you find a MacBook-like backlit keyboard, large trackpad, a power button, and two side grills. The MateBook X Pro might be thin, but it still has a single full-sized USB 3.0 port alongside a USB-C port and a Thunderbolt 3 port. Either of the USB-C shaped ports can be used to charge the machine, while there's a traditional headphone socket but no card reader. As for performance, the screen is the star of the show. It's a beautiful and crisp 13.9 inch 3 to 2 ratio screen squeezed into a frame with very slim bezels all around. The MateBook X Pro is available in a couple of configurations, with a choice of 8th generation Core i5 and i7 processors, 8 or 16 GB of RAM, and 256 or 512 GB of storage. Most of that is par for the course, but the Huawei machine also comes with a discrete NVIDIA GeForce MX150 graphics card with 2 GB of dedicated memory, which is rare for a machine of this size. The MateBook X Pro has a reasonable battery life that will get you through a workday without needing the charger. But if you want to watch a video on the commute home, you'll be out of luck. Overall, the MateBook X Pro is one of the best performing laptops we've ever reviewed, easily handling anything and everything from music production and advanced photo editing to a bit of light gaming and Chrome with as many tabs as you can fit on one screen. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel for more. Thank you for watching.